like Earth because to me it represents the natural world and handmade things and being close to nature. And I think having low items like this low bench and low chair, keeping you grounded. Definitely connected with fire the most. Um, I think it's something that our, our firm relates to, that fiery energy, the um, fearlessness, the boldness that is fire. We're huge fans of incorporating art, especially glass art, into all of our designs. You know, air is kind of a colorless element, and I like um, the freshness of it, and, and just also the history of it, and looking back, you know, centuries in, into Aristotle, and. You know, he, he was one of the first ones to talk about air as being one of the elements. It was fun to be able to have the opportunity to choose water because it has such mystical qualities. It's a liquid form, but it also can be frozen. So that idea that waters can be manipulated was a fun. Really the big picture was to create an experiential space where we can combine the emotional side and the physical side. I had seen Willie Willette working on these um, last summer. He made several for a park here in St. Paul. I found out that he still had one log left over. Elizabeth Pechacek, she makes things you can actually utilize in your home, not just pretty things sit on a shelf. And I just loved her sensibility, a little bit feminine. Jennifer McCurdy's um, ceramic porcelain piece drew me in because it reminded me of wings. I think it looks so much like something that's ready to take flight. Erlaine McNeil Larson's piece, I thought, I have a lot of sleekness and reflection in my space. I thought it was a nice counterpoint. We love color, and color has, again, that magical quality to transform space and also create a mood within a room. And I think Fred Kemmer's work, his glass work, does that. We worked with three different, very talented glass artists. Uh, first of which um, was Josie Geiger, and she uh, created this beautiful stained glass piece. David Royce is the gentleman who made these beautiful pieces, and the, the texture of his glass really reminded us of like the molten lava that is, that is fire and heat. And the last artist that we worked with was Aaron Bagelman, and he does these amazing blown pieces that have a metal, like a silver metallic inner layer. And so that reflective quality was really fast. I find that the artists are so, you know, there's such a presence. I, re I really enjoyed seeing the artists that I worked with last year and then to see things that I haven't seen before, you know, new, you know, new different artists participate each year, so there's people that I haven't seen and it's fun to see what they do. Really interested to check out more about uh, that make a craft down, down the way a little bit. Uh, doing the, the clay making, those types of things, and the body knitting, that, that looks really interesting, so to check that out a little bit more would be fun.